He went outside? He's on his bike. Go ahead! Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's Diamond Dave Damone. I am the Appleton Oak. And we are going to be checking out the big finale, Stranger Things, Season nine. 4, nine. Chapter 9, The Piggyback. This entire season has been an absolutely wild Banger. ride. Some of the most brilliant television show writing, sci-fi writing that I have ever seen. Ditto. I think uh, pretty Same much here. everybody <laughs> agrees on that. They have absolutely knocked it out of the park. And this is one of the most highly anticipated season finales I have ever been waiting for. So, um, You know, I have nothing to say. I just want to get into it. So on that note, let's do let's it. Let's go! Well, they are working okay, on so it. we're back in Russia. What the hell was that? Looked like it was a spark plug. You're engineers now? On contrary, those noises you hear that it's very good sign. Yeah, he pulled a spark plug, it looked like. Can we just finally ship these two together? Can I say ship? Is that dated now? Ship these two together? Relationship. Ship. Oh, I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> I didn't know sh I didn't know sh ship was short for relationship. Oh man, he is beat up. Oh yeah, the Get claws him. got him. Yeah. Oh my god. No, it's not that bad. They got him ripped up for this. Yeah, he lost a lot of weight. Wow. I never should have sent you that message. I knew it would be dangerous. So did I. I made this choice. You know, we do have that date to get to, remember? I've been dreaming about it. Oh. I'm getting two orders of breadsticks. I'm wavering on the main course between the veal and the lasagna. I think I gotta go with lasagna. Right? Oh, got to. You, you've been dreaming about breadsticks and lasagna. I've been on a diet of watery soup, moldy bread, and maggots. So yeah, I've been dreaming about breadsticks and lasagna, I assume. <laughs> you got some people pounding over. We're trying to record! <laughs> I was thinking about a nice GMT. GMT can use your imagination. About time. Yes! There we go. There we go. Phase one, we meet Erica at the playground. Phase two. Max Bates Vecna. Phase three. Me and Eddie drove the bats away. Four. We head into Vecna's hopefully newly bat-free lair and flambe. Nobody moves on to the next phase until we've all copied. Nobody deviates from the plan, no matter what. Hmm, that's happening. God, I'm still worried about the... They made too big of a deal about running into the other kids at the Army Surplus store. Yeah, they're going to be like they're gonna ones. They're going to interfere in some way, shape, or form. There's one thing about everyone's plans. They've been interrupted in some shape or form this season. Don't try to be cute or be a hero or something. Don't worry. You can be the hero, Steve. Look at us. We are not heroes. Hey, Steve. Make him pay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what an epic one-liner. Make yes. him pay. Let's go. L and crew, L, Mike, and Will and all of them still have to show up too. So they're all going to get together at some point here. It's just... Is it going to be too late? Just at yeah, the right I mean, br bringing Al back clearly. Look for as much as you want this plan to work. I think it's not going to work a hundred percent because no. they have to involve Eleven, Jane, and it somehow. Well, and they highlighted don't deviate from the plan. Yeah, which means we're going to deviate someone. <laughs> well, I have a way, a way to protect Max from here. Okay, I'm I'm listening. This is Max. When one attacks, he will be in her mind. She can carry me to Vecna. I can piggyback. Didn't even think about that. Piggyback. A bathtub would help. Gotta be clean to enter the mine. <laughs> what? No, no, it's a sensory deprivation tank. We we just passed a motel. Yeah, but they won't have enough salt. Well, how much salt are we talking here, my dudes? Does 600 pounds suffice? You know a place that has 600 pounds of salt? A oh, pizza place. That's right. 
Remember, they p- passed the pizza sign in episode in the last episode. Gosh, this is gonna be tricky, man. Phase one. Here we go. Gosh, that's right. We saw. Sorry, folks, but we saw Lucas fighting him in the trailer. Remember? Oh, yeah. I think we got something. Send Ryan. I don't think you'll want to send Ryan on this one. You know the murder house in Moorhead? Yeah. What about it? I knew I recognized that dude with the cap that we just saw with the dog. Remember, he was at the, the town hall. Oh, he was the guy who's like, well, let's go. Yeah. yeah. What are y'all waiting for? I'm afraid the dog is indisposed. Indisposed? So the dog's with the girl, and the girl went off to fight some evil in Hawkins. The girl meaning L. Joyce's kids are with him. When we were in the lab, those particles we saw, they were alive. That means a gate to open in Hawkins. What does this mean? It means we have to go home right now. If your kids are truly in some kind of imminent danger, even if we were to leave this very moment, we wouldn't make it in time. No, we don't have to make it back. It's connected to the hive mind. All we need to do is destroy those particles. It'll hurt it enough to give the kids the upper hand. Flamethrower. What? Yeah. They're all, they all can be remote. Yuri mentioned something about a flamethrower, right? Boom. This will do just fine. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Good call. Good call. Sure job, my dude. Nice shirt, my dude. You see this weird girl behind me? She needs a tub with a bunch of salt so we can enhance her psychic powers so she can save the world from the super bad dude. (laughs) You require your kitchen. Supposed to meet Jazz? My dude, we're not asking you to help for free. It's purple palm tree delight. Jeez. Oh no. Well, I guess having it in the freezer is not bad either. <clears throat> He's making pizza. <laughs> I love how it's such an intense scene and they throw him making a pizza in it. Gotta eat. She was destined for an alternate dimension. What do you say, Anderson? Tar. <laughs> Are you ready for the most metal concert in the history of the world? This is how they draw on the bats. Eddie playing guitar, just shredding it. Robin, Wait. hey, watch out for the vines, hive mind. She's a super class. She did tell me that it took her longer to walk than most babies. I like the effect that they're doing. Have you noticed ever since they've been talking with that echo in the yeah. upside down? Thank you. For forgiving me at the biggest thump of its life. I needed it. Wonder sometimes. Some other girl would give me a proper thump before we met. Would things have been different? I don't know. Part of me thinks that we would have made it. Remember the dream I told you about? It's all true. Every last word. Six kids, though? Woo. You're there. You've always been there. She's she going to make... Hey, guys! Yeah, interrupted. That's like the fifth <sighs> between Steve and Nancy here. There we go. All right, here we go. Phase one. Where are the guards? I, I wonder know, if Jim, the Demogorgon took this. out everything. That's exactly what I'm thinking. All of them are out now, if you ask me. Oh, does he hear it? Well, he's also has a flamethrower now. Mm-hmm. Watch him get in a fight with Yuri, and like the physical altercation happens, and the spark plug falls out of his pocket. Hopefully that wakes him up a little bit. Redemption for Yuri? Dude, they gave us a little uh, backstory on him just right there. <gasps> Spark plug up. Wow, that was an interesting little backstory there, dude. I hope this works. 
dude. I'm I'm probably overthinking this, but I really hope this isn't one of those things where we potentially lose one and then they have these notes after. I hope I'm overthinking that. I've been really wrong so far, so I'm probably wrong on this too. Asking her out. Is that them and popcorn? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, the lovebirds have copied. Max is moving into phase two. Man, this is kind of tense. I feel like they're going to start the plan. The other guys are going to mess it up. And that's when Eleven has to come in and save her. Hey, asshole. I'm here. Do you hear me? Come on, do you want me or not? Ooh. Here we go. Do I look cool? I feel like I'm a, I look really cool are you giggling i can't see it but i know you're smiling mike yeah i missed you yeah i missed you too the last few days i've I've had to think about the last talk we had the l bomb wanted to, to say that Surf up romeo too much flavor awesomeness can't overpower your battery can it dude this is pineapple try before you deny <laughs> a lot of comments about the pineapple. Club. Mm -hmm. It's good? What do you mean mm -hmm. it's good? It's really good. <laughs> <sighs> See, he already knows. You thinking that Will knows something that he's not sharing? No, Jonathan knows that Will's got oh. it. That, you know, that Has feelings for Mike or whatever? Yeah, correct. I feel like he used to come to me more for help. Because like you don't do that anymore. He's worried his brother won't understand. I know I've been distant, stoned, but that has nothing to do with you. I mean, that's me dealing with my own shit. I miss talking to you. Right now, we need to talk more than ever. I don't want you to forget that I'm here, and I'll always be here. Cause you're my brother, and I love you. And there is nothing in this world that will ever change that. At the whole time, that's and, all and he I'm wanted always... to hear, man. Because remember, he felt like he was alone. Yep. The whole time. No, you that's don't. how a brother should act. It's time. Oh, this is going to be sweet to see how this plays out on this. From her point of view. What are you waiting for, asshole? Hmm? It's not working. I know you can read my thoughts, even the worst ones. I thought that you were just trying to upset me, to anger me. Gosh, you know this tease right now of Vecna kind of playing a game here. It's kind of killing me. <laughs> Billy, he, he made my life living hell. Sometimes I would pray that something would happen to him, something awful. Jesus. I wanted him out of my life. I wanted him to disappear. The day that he died, I think that's why I just stood there. Not because I was scared or weak. I didn't know if he deserved to be saved. Oh, wow. Dude, that's heavy. Wow. Then I've tried to forgive myself. I can't. Now when I lie in bed at night, I pray that something will happen to me. So that's why I'm here. But I just want you to take me away. To make me disappear. You wanted Billy to die. Why are you talking? You ever have thoughts like that about me? Vecna. It's Vecna. Normal people don't fantasize about killing other people, Max. I thought you were getting better. Recognize it. Recognize it, Max. <laughs> I'm glad it's going to be you. The final sacrifice. It's, it's going, going to be you that breaks the world. Max! Yes. Oh. Oh, shit, here we go. I said stay away! I'm coming to salt on a little longer. Right, what are you oh, gonna do this, Al? shit, it's about to get real here. I'm so, so sorry. I am in a memory. A Max memory. Okay, she's in initiate phase three. Copy that. Initiating phase three. Oh, the amp just turned on. This is from Master Puppets. Yes. Yes. 
You see how many there were? There was a lot. This is the most badass thing ever. Eddie's on top of an RV playing Master of Puppets. Dude, it's about time we finally get some Metallica in a show. Look at the cinematography. This is the coolest thing ever. Come on. This is awesome. What? Just keep running. Oh, sh here we go. This is where we finally see the fight. Oh no, I didn't know they were chasing her. Yeah, she was the one at the park. Well, I know, but I didn't know they were gonna go after her because now her getting out of position with that flashlight is not good. He's back! Okay, so what? what's this memory? I know it's from season three here, but... It's when they had Billy in that, that sauna. Yeah, they were trying to get uh, the, the mind heat. flare out of Billy. Yeah, but, with but the heat. What, I'm trying to think about... Oh, yeah. Okay, so now she's trying to channel the happy. Okay. <laughs> this is <laughs> so shredding. awesome. <laughs> He's just shredding. Holy oh, shit. Get in the house. Get in the house. Most metal ever! <laughs> <laughs> it really was. That was pretty, pretty <laughs> incredible. Look how trash that place is. They're all out now. So what was there? Was there at least six? I can't remember. Oh, and the particles. The whole thing's busted. Oh, dear God. The monster got in. The guards, they tried to stop it. Their gunfire shattered the tanks. The others came alive. Ask him about the particles. Shadow went into them. Into who? Of course. So who do you think it went into? Well, they just said Demogorgons and Demodogs on the captions. <laughs> a little... The shadow is in them. Well, you've got yeah. a flamethrower. So there's that. Oh, got this. Oh, man, this show's getting too tense for me, man. But I love it. Max! Max! I found her. She can't see me. A lot of people have that problem with John Cena, too. Jesus, guy. <laughs> Had to. Oh. Jeez. Kind of ruining that memory. And how he's playing his music. So Vecna is essentially taking over this good memory. Taking over her memory, yeah. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm digging this plan. Maybe this is what Brenner was saying by like you you're not ready. You have no idea. He just takes over all these good memories slowly. So much going on here right now. So much going on. Let me go, you you shut your mouth or break your arms. Shit. Can't be here right now, man. Oh no. Can you hear me? Jason, don't touch her. Jason, you me? please, just- Hey, I ain't back up! Back up! We don't have to do this, man. Yeah, I hope you're right. What? Turn around! Okay, okay, okay. Relax, relax. Empty your pockets! Okay. I'm gonna back away to the top of the stairs there. Then I'll watch as you wake her up from whatever the hell this is. If I wake her too soon, we all die. Here we go. Fist cuffs. Let's go, Lucas. You shut off this fence, right? Yeah. We get him in here, we lock it up, we rain fire from above. I'm with you. Except the whole uh, <laughs> getting them all in here part. <laughs> it's a hive mind. You're the grill master. You're the jailer. You get that fence turned on, and once they're all in here, you lock that door behind them. I'm the bait. OK. See him in the laundry room. He's all alone. So wait, is he thinking one by one? Oh, Bob! Poor Bob! Oh, no! I'm gonna die someday, but Does... not today. Not today. I still got a date to make, remember? 
This time, it's gonna be different. It better be. Yes, it, it better be. It will be. They're on the roof. Uh oh. They can't get in through there, can they? They did a good job of making me wonder or worry a little bit about Robin and her nervousness, especially with all these tentacle vines laying around. Uh, you guys really need to hurry the hell up. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That's disappointing. Is this where we start to see everyone's plans kind of go south, starting with Lucas, now these guys, now Hop? A lot of shit's going wrong right about now. Yes, yeah, that's the dog. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is there any evidence? Oh no! Oh no! Is this where we lose, Eddie? Don't, Eddie! Oh no! Damn, man! Buy more time. He went outside? He's on his bike. Go, Eddie! You can't hide from me, Ben. There he is. Okay, right now she's filtering through all the good memories. You thought you could trick me. I've seen your friends. I can feel them dying. It's time, Babs. Oh, he just gave her a lot of insight of what's going on, which is genius on his part because now he's making, installing that doubt and fear. It's time. <laughs> okay, so is she gonna start floating? Will you all summon this Vecna? No, no, there's no cult. Then why was Chrissy at Eddie's trailer? She was buying drugs. Fire! Time is running out. She was seeing things, things Vecna forced her to see. She just needed help. If Christy wanted help, she would have come to me. Not that freak, never. I never should have let you in the door. And I never should have knocked. Here we go, Lucas. But it turns out he was just a raging psychopath. Yeah, there you go. Jesus, he pulled the trigger. Oh, oh. there you go. What if they, oh no. no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, no. He stepped on the Walkman. You are brave. Much braver than your brother. And you will break. Okay, L has to make an appearance here. There we oh! go. There we go, L. Holy shit. She got in. What? She got in. Yes. Just... Just like in episode seven, dude. Can't be this easy for L though. <laughs> oh shit. Is he gonna try to run and jump? Oh Dusty, come on man. What did he just land on? Did he break his arm? I don't know. We heard a crack. I didn't know what to do, so I, I, I ran away. I just ran and I left her there. Dusty's gonna walk out and see him getting destroyed. Oh man. Good luck, Eddie. Oh no. No. Man, I hope they have a backup radio player or tape deck. Just start tape singing player. to her or something. Oh, damn. Are you. Are you real? <laughs> I'm real. I piggybacked from a pizza dough freezer. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
a long story. We're not even close to being done with Vecna here. This is going to be one hell of a battle. If you touch her again, I will kill you again. Did you kill me? This is going to be beautiful. Oh no, dude. <laughs> Oh, he broke his leg. Daddy! Or maybe it's not break, but... But they're not going after him like they were Steve. Well, they are now. <laughs> maybe sit on the bench for a moment. Oh, yep, she's knocked out now. Did Brenner know that one was that much more powerful than 11? He kept trying to tell her. I bet that's what... Like, he knew how powerful one was. Before I kill you, I want you to watch. Oh no! He's going after Max. I don't know what the hell's going to happen here, man. Everyone's tied so, up. No, somebody's got to step up. Somebody's got to step up. Papa is dead. I know what he did to you. And he hurt you. He made you into this. He's the monster, Henry. Not you. We are different. Papa did hurt me, but he was no monster. What does he think he was a creator? An ordinary, mediocre man. That is why he sought greatness in others. Oh. In you. And me. Fair. <laughs> he did not make me into this. You did. I believe you had sent me to my death. I was somewhere new. Wow, we're getting even more backstory. Wow. He went through some changes, dude. of a realm unspoiled by mankind. I found the most extraordinary thing of all. That would change everything. It's those, it's those damn particles. To transcend my human form. The mind flare. Right? That's what it has to be, the mind flare, from what we've seen in the previous seasons. Yep. So last season, they never even really got rid of him. That was you. Oh, was you. All I needed was someone to open the door. <laughs> and she did it. And he did that for me. <laughs> so I sought a means to open my own doors. I sought your power. All this time, we've been building it. Makes so much sense now. For you. Once again, you have freed me. You can still stop this. Your friends have lost. Oh, come on, Lucas. Oh, no. No! Hawkins will burn, fall, and the rest of this senseless, broken world. I will be there to pick up the pieces when it does and remake it into something beautiful. There was a time when I had hoped to have you by my side, but now I just want you to watch. Something's gotta happen. I, I don't know what. Okay, we haven't seen the flamethrower in action yet. What if he, what if the flamethrower... Yeah, but Hopper had the flamethrower. No, he gave it to Murray. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, he took the AK. Try and stay very still. No. She's done. No. Help me, help me. Help. Help. Don't stop, okay? You're the heart. You're the heart. Kiss her. I love you. One of those two. I want you to know I'm here. Do it. Say I it. I love you. Come on, that has to work. I love you. It's not because I'm scared of you. I've never felt that way. Never. I don't know how to live without you. I love you on your good days. I love you on your bad days. I love you with your powers. I love you without your powers. I can't lose you. But right now, you just have to fight. We can't you lose Max. Fight. Come on. There you go, Lucas. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, God. No! The hell? Fade to black? What just happened? Joy! 
Please. Oh, she's got the elect. Okay, oh, so she's her. she's busted up, but she's alive. Do you see how big that one was? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, Murray! <laughs> yeah! Fuck yeah! Oh, now they're all free! <laughs> Murray has come through it's in the clutch! All season. In the clutch! Hell yeah! Yes! <laughs> Murray. Murray. And these ones can take bullets. The sword. This is some Conan shit right here. They're all gonna do it together. That's the key. It took all of them working together. All right, let's go. You and your friends believe you have won. Oh, you ain't seen it yet. But this is only the beginning. You have already lost. What does that mean? You have. Just... Here we go. <laughs> there goes the arm. Oh. What he uh, said. Playing the music. Dude, what he said though, you've already lost. So how is season five gonna end? Is it gonna end with L being taken out? Uh, Sacrifice herself? Yeah, just just slow down. I'm just worried about this episode right now. <laughs> Oh, good. She's there. Whoo! One last look before he comes back. Get that shotgun rolling. Come on, Nance. There it goes. She's going to take a headshot. Like an old Remington 870. Gosh, no way is it just that. Not that it was easy for him, but. God, we, <laughs> I have like 30 more minutes left. God, just think the, the setup for season five is going to be an epic cliffhanger here. Look at this <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I cannot. Katinga, <laughs> the helicopter's name. <laughs> Oh. So did we had to lose Eddie. Can we get a shot of Eddie here, please? Oh, where'd he go? How bad is Eddie? Oh, oh, oh God. No, 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 you're gonna be fine. We just gotta get you to a hospital, okay? Dude. <laughs> second, okay? I didn't run away this time, right? You didn't run. Brutal, dude. I think I'm actually gonna graduate. I think it's my year, Anderson. Finally, my year. I love you, Dad. Eddie. Oh, man. Eddie! Well, at least he got to shred the Metallica. Eddie went out like a fucking hero. Mm hmm. Shame on me for being very judgmental in the first episode on him. We need yeah. a doctor! All of us. That's on me. I, I can't be loose. See anything. Oh no. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I don't want to die. I'm not ready. You're not going to die. Please just hang on. I don't want to go on. Just hang on. Oh my god, dude. Stay with me, man. Are you kidding me? Just hang on. Now we're going out. <laughs> Holy shit. Mike, stay with me. No, 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 no. Mike, Mike, please stay with me. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Fucking double whammy us, dude. Four times. Four times. Well, Vecna's... Oh, f shit. Did we just lose Jason? Oh, we sure did. Okay, I wasn't ready for this. Dude, is this going to be like a, an Avengers 
Infinity War ending? Are you seeing this? Yeah. Everything that Nancy saw is probably gonna happen, dude. Holy shit. Oh, I can't... What, do they really have to show Max's arm like that? Remember, Vecna said, you already lost. No. You're not going. What? Max wanted to have a sleepover. <laughs> Against the rules? We make our own rules. What is happening here? Dude, I just watched the first three seasons, and I don't recall her bringing anyone back to life. Okay. Everyone's leaving Hawkins. It's been less than 48 hours since a 7.4 magnitude earthquake rocked the quaint town of Hawkins, 80 miles outside of Indianapolis. The death toll now stands at 22. Officials expect those numbers to rise. Calling it an earthquake, huh? Most recently, a string of high school students were killed in a series of ritualistic murders which have been linked to a local satanic cult known as Hellfire. Jesus. Eddie Munson, the leader of this cult and prime suspect in the murders, has been missing since the earthquake and is presumed dead. They're now calling it a doorway into hell. Now indistinguishable from the tabloid. Ha! <laughs> you don't say. You want to order a pizza? Pizza? Oh, I thought that was... Remember, yeah. these guys have been split pretty much all season. Almost all season. Oh, how's John and Nance gonna be? You can forget about college. You are staying right here. Jonathan, this isn't an earthquake. I know a lot more than you think. We just couldn't risk contact. I'll tell you everything, okay? I promise. And further words died in his throat. He forgot about his mother. Speedy was gone. Kept her alive mm -hmm. or saved her. Is she able to make a full recovery though? Do they know when she'll wake? No, they say she might not. Her heart stopped for over a minute. She died. I, I mean, clinically, then she came back. Doctors don't know how. They say it's a miracle. Come here, Max. Is she gonna try to talk to her now? Or at least see what's going on? Go into her mind and talk to her. Oh, people are staying at the high school for now. Uh, so these are blankets and sheets. Wow, it's already so organized. Is there anything else that we can do to help? I found another jar of peanut butter and it's crunchy stuff. Uh-oh. Robin, what are you doing here? I am making PB&Js. Uh, I, I am also making PB&Js, as it so happens. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if that came out weird. I just meant like, oh, what are you doing here? Like, wow, nice surprise. Great to see you. I didn't take it as anything negative. Okay, good, 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 good. And Dan, it's my boyfriend. What well, was my boyfriend? Was. Uh, was. Oh, you really should Oh, have. but I did. Oh, but I did. I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> he, lo he loves it. He loves it. Oh. Oh, Mr. nice. Munson, can we talk? My nephew is innocent. He's still missing. Good day to you. I was with him. I was with him when the earthquake hit. Oh man, he's gonna give him some closure. Where is Eddie now? Poor Dusty man. I'm so sorry. Guitar pick. I wish everyone had gotten to know him because they would have loved him. Even in the end, he never stopped being Eddie. I never even saw him get mad. He could have run. He fought and died to protect this town. Brutal, dude. Still brutal. He's a hero. <laughs> At least he gave him closure. Yeah. This place is a total disaster. Well, that's a bit of a problem. A fortress of grodiness. <laughs> he said grody. I haven't heard that move probably since the 80s. Grody. Sorry, I wasn't here. To be honest, I'm kind of glad you weren't. I just mean I'm glad you were with Mike. And I'm, I'm glad you're here too. Otherwise, who'd have been in charge? Steve. I've actually grown up quite a bit, you know? Uh-oh. Are we okay? Yeah, totally. No, it's hard. Life keeps throwing things in the way of our big plans. 
You think it's uh, too late to throw saving the world on your college resume? Your your application letter. Did it ever come? Tell her. No. No. Well, oh. eventually you'll have to tell her something. Uh -huh. Dr. Brenner, he says that she wasn't ready. And now she's starting to think he was right. If it wasn't for her, if she hadn't left the lab, Max wouldn't be alive right now. I know. She's never lost before. She'll have another chance. Let's hope not. One is dead and rotting. He's not. I can feel him. He's hurting, but he's still alive. Still remember what he thinks and how he thinks. And he's not going to stop. Not until he's taken everything and everyone. We have to kill him. We will. Here comes Joyce and Hops. Murray. Or not. Really wrong again. Could be um Owens. Owens, yeah. I really hope it's Owens. Or it could be Owens gave Joyce and Hop and Murray a ride back. Because remember the phone call? Max? Max? This isn't good. Well, I think this symbolizes that she's brain dead, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Hops. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, that did not look good for Max. I can't even imagine like being a kid and thinking that your parent died and I get the door open three inches. I know it's okay. I'm here. It's when he left her in that note, remember? Yeah. You look not fat. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of stole your look, kid. Pigeon. The pigeon. Am I the only one that didn't stop believing? Ah, uh, yeah. Good to see these two back together. Hey. You grown. You shrunk. <laughs> He's near. We can't have like five minutes. Nope. Like I, I don't get like five minutes of like remotely happy time. Dude, next season is going to be off the freaking charts, dude. It's game on now, dude. They walk in and you can just see like a massive gate of sorts. Look at all that. <gasps> It's killing all the plants. Holy shit. Here we go to season five. Wow. Dude. What a season, man. What a season. Oh. Goodness, man. I think I'm, I just, I just need like an hour or two to like digest, process <laughs> everything. If we should like, you know, we're going to go get some pizza <laughs> yeah. and come back. <laughs> and like, we should go get some pizza, talk about things, digest things a little and bit, and then come Jeez. back and do a, uh, a wrap up because I feel like. It's it's a lot, um, and in, I, I almost feel like the, getting into details of everything that's happening is 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 a, is a little difficult just because of how much was going on. I thought it was a, a great way to end season four. Uh, they showed how everybody had to work together. I think mm -hmm. that was the big thing. Everybody had to come and work together, and if any one. Of those individual pieces of that puzzle anybody's dropping the, the ball everything too they don't um temporarily I, I i don't even want to use the word win they don't hold off yeah vecna things they didn't get a lot worse um no but as far as the time frame of them even holding him off they didn't uh, it's it's not a win i mean the kids survived um for now um we lost eddie um we don't know what happens with max um but it's very much like you didn't defeat Vecna. You just held off 
the inevitable whatever well, whatever is coming next um and of course you know we're gonna be here for season five but uh i loved everything about this this episode uh the way they tied the story together again the way they showed how everybody had to work together as a team to get things accomplished uh i loved how all the characters stepped up um i love that they gave eddie a hero's yeah. send off you know he's just like i'm not gonna go running that's not gonna be how mm -hmm. you know and because he was and that he was said that too by the way that was his yeah that was his internal conflict is that you know when things happen with chrissy he just he just he got scared and he left and he didn't want that to be that way you know i thought he was gonna pull through um originally when um when we saw you know vecna you know starting to you know lose ground and the bats fell and stuff i thought okay maybe he's gonna pull through but not but um wow just a, 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 a an incredible wrap up to this season you know it was nice to show so a little bit of lighthearted, a few laughs with um you know with obviously everything that happened at the pizza place you know, Roller a few, a few, yeah, for Marie coming through with the the flame all season long too. Assholes, yeah. I mean, they really did a good job with Marie's character and having him be some comic relief, but also somebody who comes in and saves the day with his karate on the airplane in the in the prison. You know, coming through and uh, and and saving the day with the, the Demogorgons, but. Um, I just felt like this was a, a really, a really incredible episode. I liked that um, Eleven obviously found a way to get her powers back, but now she's questioning herself whether um, whether uh, Brenner was right, um, and it starts to look like maybe he was. You know, Brenner knew that one was the most powerful. powerful, and that she wasn't ready to take him on. But if you look at everything that was going on, there wasn't time. Like, that's the thing. There wasn't time. And, you know, it's it's interesting because, you know, I, I watch, you know, and, and what I do, you know, I watch all these, you know, motivational videos and stuff like that. And a uh, recurring theme that you see in a lot of them is, like, there's never going to be a right time, right? Like, mm -hmm. you're waiting for the right time. If you're waiting until you're ready, if you're waiting until you all have all your ducks in a row, like, you'll always be waiting. And sometimes you need to just step up and, and face the challenges. And I think that's what we saw here. Um I, I I really do feel like, and, and I'm gonna try to get in the comments as much as I can because I do really feel like you know a, a two and a half hour show like this that's a wrap up to you know a yeah. full season is a lot to process in in a video like this. And I, I do also want pizza, um, probably not with <laughs> pineapples, but um, I, I know we don't really don't rate uh, our TV shows like we do our movies, but uh, as a season, season four of Stranger Things five out of five. Oh, easy an easy five out of five yeah with i'm gonna kind of keep my focus right now on this, this episode for a quick second one what happened to owens uh we have no idea where owens is is, is he with the military we didn't see the military well, in this one at all he's gonna play uh i think the, the he's gonna uh, have a pivotal role in season owens five. and then also the the military gentleman that we saw they're gonna both play a very pivotal role in season five uh, go go ahead because there's one thing I do, uh, do yeah. want to add as well. And then with um, this episode as well, with Eleven, you know, kind of creeping back into Max's head, it was it gave me the sense, and I'm curious to see if anyone corrected us or shot some knowledge at us uh, in the comments with what they thought with Max. It with Eleven going back into her head there at the end, and it was just Empty. black. Yeah, Th that is not good. I don't, and someone let me know too. I swear, I just rewatched all three seasons, and well, there's four, but I only watched the first three to kind of play a little catch up, see if there was anything I missed to kind of refresh. Mm -hmm. I don't recall Elle being able to bring people back to life like she did like that. Um, so I'm, if anyone can refresh me, I'm wondering great. if it wasn't um, a physical um, getting her heart beating again, almost like a, a defibrillator. You know what I'm saying? Like Could if, be. Like if physically she, she if physically she had died, if it wasn't like this, this magical, like I'm going to bring you back to life as much as it is, I'm going to physically get your heart pumping again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that could be it too. Okay. So that would make a little her, bit more sense. Because they did come back. Lucas said her heart stopped. 
for a minute and for then a minute. It got beating again. So I don't know if if she's you know like, almost like like I said a defibrillator, or yeah, like massaging a, a heart. That I can see. Now that we said that, because yeah, now it's like, uh, like you said, well, I don't remember her being able to bring people back from the dead. Yeah. Otherwise, like in you know previous seasons, would she have done that? Or even here, would she have done that? And it's a difference between getting somebody's heart going again and if somebody just died for you know whatever reason, being able to, to fix it. So yeah, and I really dug the, and I'm going to use this reference, the Infinity War ending that we got of sorts. Now. It's obviously a huge setup for their last season, which I think if the the writing is anywhere near what season four was, season five is just going to be absolutely epic. With Will, uh, it was interesting. I know we kind of picked on him early on, but I, I get it now with Will. I mean, that whole thing with him, and he still has Vecna, the, the feels, the vibes, and everything. So I think he's going to be huge going into season five. Uh, Mike finally dropping the L word, the love bomb. Seeing, I was real worried for Hopper there for a second when they were doing that carousel of everyone in trouble. I thought for sure uh, Hopper was gone there for a second. And, you know, in our picks, I know uh, we were kind of trying to predict who we were going to lose. We thought we were going to lose a lot of people. Yeah, I did. We actually only lost Daddy, which is, to me, surprising. So I wonder if they're going to, like, in Season 5, since it's going to be the last one, if they're really going to push it. But, I mean, depending on how you want to look at the Max situation... I mean, you could maybe throw her in too, but all, uh, all in all, this season, folks, off the chains, I will echo the yoke. We normally don't uh, do ratings for seasons of TV episodes, but damn, this was a five out of five for sure. Yeah, I, the thing that I'm most curious about is the way they ended it because, look, they, they called it an earthquake, right? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, there was a 7.3 magnitude earthquake. Now, I'm curious as to whether that is a cover up or whether they really thought it was an earthquake because For there sure had cover to, up. you know it's, right because there had to be people that saw the split and saw the red and stuff like that like okay this isn't an earthquake and now what we're seeing at the end of season four is we see this massive field of fire and smoke that everybody is seeing and so now it's not really well, did everyone see that though because they had to go through the trees and up over a hill yeah but to the, look down right but, but I, they might have saw the smoke that you're yeah saying. the smoke and so i think it's going to be widely known that something is up and i'm interested as to whether it's something where the government's going to try to cover it up um you know and and, mm -hmm. and, and say like oh there's there's fires or whatever or they're just going to quarantine the entire I mean I could see him quarantining the entire city of Hawkins nobody in nobody out because they have to keep it quiet um, are they gonna bring in the government are they gonna bring in the military like what happens if, if you bring in the military and then like yeah we don't have any we don't know what to do here and mm -hmm. you literally need to have Owens and, and and then bring 11 in and say let's not forget number eight though she's still out there so are yeah. they gonna bring her in for season eight yeah or you season know eight? are they gonna bring eight back in season five i really L? i really feel you almost have to yeah you i really feel like the storylines in in season two um where we, they showed that there was other people out there like her and then they just kind of left it mm -hmm. like we didn't hear anything about them now we know from um, you know, we know from this season, of course, that a lot of the other children that were in the facility toast did, did, didn't make it. So the question of, are there more out there? But there's also the question of, is there more out there? Are there people, more people out there that have the same powers as Eleven and as Henry or Vecna? And they have to try to recruit him, you know, with Brenner not being there. So there's so many questions. Um, I'm really looking forward to hopping on youtube now heavy spoilers um, i'm going right to that channel yeah after this. <laughs> so i'm really looking forward to hopping on youtube seeing all the fan theories the spoilers and what everybody thinks is going to happen for season five um and drop a comment below certainly on on your input we love reading all the ideas i mean my brain's going a million miles an hour but it's always so cool to see everybody else you know interject their ideas and some of the hardcore fans like the real hardcore fans mm -hmm. say you know this is what we think and or yeah, another when they correct us on something they missed, yeah. then it, it makes a light bulb go off and be like, oh yeah, another we missed that. Another, another interesting thing about this particular um, Stranger Things, as far as I know, it's not based off a book. 
It's not based off a comic book. It's not based off of, you know, when you, when we look at a lot of the movies that we've done and TV shows, like some of them are based off books, based off comics. And so they're, they're adaptations of, of previous works where people kind of know what's going on. Where with this, I believe this is just, this is its own thing. So um, we'll see. Not based on a book series. Experience. It's inspired by classic horror titles, um, Stephen King, R.L. Stein, sure. And um, of course we knew that we've seen, you know, even the way they shoot it, we've seen things taken from other yeah. movies. But so that, and the reason that I bring that up is because there's not people who can come like right out and be like, well, in the books, this is the direction it went. Like, unless you're friends with the writers, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we don't it know where it's going. Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter series, where you know where people are like, yeah, the books said this, uh, did that. So, I mean, the, I just can't wait for season five, and we're gonna be waiting for a minute. So it'll be a minute. I mean, we're gonna be waiting a minimum of a yeah. year. So it'll be interesting. I hope they do a full another like eight to nine seasons. I know some people, and I'm gonna wrap this up here real quick. I know some people are going to probably nitpick at how long this episode went, but I'm happy that they allowed a lot of stuff to breathe because, yeah, you could say they could have, you know, chopped five minutes here, two minutes there. But I enjoyed that they allowed things to just breathe and let settle for just a minute and let the actors do their job. And yeah, I appreciate it. The one thing I will say about longer episodes and and I'm going to go back to the, the movie The Irishman. Three and a half hours mm -hmm. when it came out, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, um, about Jimmy Hoffa. And phenomenal movie, and so many people were complaining, like, oh, it was too long, it was too long, it was too long. And 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 the, the counter to that was, you know very well, had instead of it being just a three and a half hour movie, they said, oh, we were going to do a, a seven part series, and it's going to be 30 minute episodes each. Y'all would have binged all seven episodes yeah. anyhow. So... You tell me right you now. This today for you sure. tell me right or, now. Right. Had they had this be two separate episodes that now we're ten, you know, three separate episodes at forty five minutes or whatever, you'd have binged all the way through it anyhow. Yeah. So uh, to say an episode is is too long. I love that know? they did this with how every episode was basically almost like a movie. Yeah, I'm was, hoping season uh, five is the same, dude. It was cool, and I think it was well received by most of the fans. So. Mm -hmm. um, We'll be here for season five. I don't have much else to say other no. than I am excited to get up on YouTube and the internet right now. Flood me with more Check info. Check out the fan series, or uh, fan theories and spoilers, and uh, I'm going to be diving headfirst into all yeah. things. Let's go get some pizza. Stranger Folks, things. drop your comments down below. We'll be chatting with you. Tell us how much you liked or disliked the season. Uh, looking forward to that. We'll be in the comments with you. That was The Oak. I'm Diamond Dave. This was a fantastic Stranger Things, folks. We'll see you on the next one.